And one thing I like to do when I'm cooking on a camp stove is put a little bit of olive oil in the skillet that I'm going to use and get that thing good and hot. Now, we got one cup of water here. And this is one of my favorite just add waters right here in the morning. You got a Hungry Jack chocolate chip pancake mix. It's so simple. All you have to do is add it. This packet, the eight ounces of water, mix it up into a batter, and you got chocolate chip pancakes in the morning. Things about a buck. You cannot beat it. And what I like to do with this stuff is I don't add it all at once to the water. I'll shake about a quarter of the package in there at a time. My counter space here is kind of out of your vision. So I'm going to try to mix this in the camera. But I like to use a fork for this. A spoon things seem to stick to, but a fork gives you a way to kind of knead your batter around as you're mixing it in. Now, if you're making something like these just add water pancakes, biscuits, muffins, whatever it is, and you think for some reason you might have added a little bit too much water in there, I keep this Pioneer brand mix, you can see I haven't even opened this up yet, handy. And the reason I do that is because I can cut a little bit of that in there to thicken things up a little bit. And just mix enough in there to get it good and thick, no more. But that will save the day a lot of times on you when you're making this stuff if you somehow just got too much water in there. And I'm not sure I had too much water in this necessarily. I may end up having to add a little bit to it, but it's okay. It's a good demonstration anyway. It's a good tip and trick when it comes to making things like pancakes and biscuits. Again, this is just a Pioneer brand buttermilk biscuit mix. It's got instructions for making different recipes on the back of it, but I use this for cutting into things sometimes if I had too much water. Now the other thing you're going to want to do is, especially if you're using a camp stove for this kind of stuff, is you're going to want to get your water boiled for your coffee first. Because that's a high flame situation, you don't want that when you're cooking. So while you're letting this batter sit and thicken up, you can be getting your coffee water boiled and then just set it on the other burner to let it stay hot while you're cooking your breakfast. Now we're going to turn the heat up just a little bit on the pan here. First pancake out wasn't too bad. I made it real thin on purpose. It definitely didn't burn or stick. So we're in the right place. Now what we're looking to do is get these pancakes to where they look like you're supposed to look. The first one's always a test cake, in my opinion. After that, you make good ones. The cook always eats the first one and the rest of them are for everybody else. But what you're wanting is you're wanting those pancakes to bubble up on top. I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So there's kind of what we're looking for. See how things bubbling up on the top? When it's bubbles all over the top like that, that's when it's time to flip him. All right, like I said, I don't have a lot of counter space right here where the camera can see good, so we'll just try to do it from here. Just get under that dude just like that, all the way around. Pick him up, flip him right over. Cook the other side. Folks, I appreciate you joining me this morning out here at the Trapper's Cabin for breakfast. I've about got this thing back to the way I want it now, and I'm going to start shooting a series out of it very similar to Journal of the Yurt once I get a chance here. Ooh, load of chocolate chips in that one. Like I said, I uh, have about a month before I have to start traveling again, going to SHOT Show, and then not too long after that, going to a couple other places. But I do have some water traps out right now for Mink. I've got a few coon cuffs out around the bank line areas for the straggling coon that may still be out and not denned up yet. It's still warming up pretty good during the day. On some days, it's getting in the 40s. So anyway, I wanted to start this cabin series off with a good breakfast and a holiday video that I shot this morning. I'll get it posted first. I'll get this posted as part two or an intro video, and then maybe on the next video, we'll kind of take a look around the cabin itself and see what I've done, because it's really simple. As simple as the key. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our business, for our family. 
from our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends, and I'll be back to the video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.